Boris Johnson has warned the European Union he will not extend the Brexit transition period beyond December 31 despite face-to-face -face talks being cancelled because of the rapid coronavirus outbreak throughout the continent. A UK government spokesman insisted the strict deadline set by Boris Johnson is enshrined in UK law. He admitted on Tuesday they would not formally be convening negotiating work tomorrow but that both sides remain fully committed to the Brexit talks process. The spokesman said, in light of the latest guidance on coronavirus, we will not formally be convening negotiating work strands tomorrow in the way we did in the previous. We expect to share a draft FTA alongside the draft legal texts of a number of the standalone agreements in the near future still, as planned. Both sides remain fully committed to the negotiations and we remain in regular contact with the European Commission to consider alternative ways to continue discussions, including looking at the possibility of video conferencing or conference calls, and exploring flexibility in the structure for the coming weeks. The transition period ends on December 31, 2020. This is enshrined in UK law. The latest commitment from the government came after Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb came under pressure from opposition MPs in the House of Commons to extend the transition period. Labour MP Stephen Kinnock told him, rather than trying to fight this war on two fronts, if you like, and stretching government bandwidth to breaking point, surely the time is now coming to request an extension to the transition period and it's better to do that than to put ideology ahead of the health and safety of the British people. But before talks were cancelled, former Brexit Secretary Mr. Robb insisted, we're confident that we can get this done and, actually, I don't think delaying Brexit negotiations would give anyone the certainty, on either side of the channel.